Bonjour ni Juan Chimakwa Nabawi Indigena Cause for Chimakwa Nabawi Art. A while back, my brother gave me some markers, so today I figured it would be a good day to try them out and make a little art with them. For this video, I'm going to be using these Aqua Pen Graphics watercolor felt tip pen. I got these from my brother Josh, who always encourages my artwork. Finally, get to check them out. I also have a pad of watercolor paper because watercolor pens, you know, felt tip watercolor pens. Let's check them out. Also, need tape. Let's check these out and see what colors come in each one. It looks like they tell you what colors are in there on the side of the box. Brilliant colors thanks to high quality, light fast, and low order water based pigment ink. Double, tip, double tips, contour, and flexible brush tip for watercolor painting on watercolor paper. Apply the color and use, then use a wet brush to spread it. Do not dip the pen into water. Ah, okay. Interesting. See if the colors are true to what the, is in the box. Ooh, these are nice. Props to my brother for always supplying me with cool stuff to try out. So it does look like they're fairly close to what we have on the side of the box. This looks like to be a blender. Yeah, this is a brush. Yeah. Check that out. That's the brush side. That is the nib. So that's pretty nice. And these ones, it looks to be the same as the others with the same colors. They show on the front of the box as well. See that right there. They have really cool art on them, on the box even. So they must be good markers. I'm not even sure. Cause like, I thought I had Arteza markers, but they're Asia, Asia, Azure. Anyways, now that I have my tape, I'm gonna tape down this watercolor paper. We'll go get some water. swatches are done I add some water in my brush should have rinsed my brush here I wasn't patient enough to wait for the paper to dry so when painting this tree or when using the marker it started bleeding excessively because it was still pretty wet on the paper Always rinse your brush so your swatches don't look like that. Take patience so that your paper will dry if you want to have some details in there. Because now I have to start over.
I say I do like these markers, man. They're pretty cool. I'm not very good at watercolors, so probably like check them out a little bit more. You know, I could see myself illustrating some graphics or like making a comic book or something not too large scale, I suppose. They do have some limitations, but there's tons of potential in these markers. Now it's time to put the little art in the little frame. First, I'll have to cut them out. I found these two little frames at the second hand store in town. I thought they were pretty cool. They only cost me like a quarter or 50 cents. And here's the finished ones. I used acrylic for the moon and the stars. Only one frame was empty, so each picture had to take a turn. For the final touch, I'm going to add my signature on the back of these. That's it for today guys, I'd like to say miigwech for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more indigenous art content. Also, follow me on Instagram for a chance to win the art featured in today's video. Gigawabamin, nagach. <laughs>